Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, I defeated a leaf monster, made my way through the end of the Autumn Woods, and, uh... heard a gender-reversed version of the Princess and the Pea fairy tale from our friend the shopkeeper. I'm not sure why it was gender-reversed, other than the fact that it continued after the fable into a story of, uh... The princess realizing that her husband was a drag, and, uh, working on self-improvement. For some reason, people seem to find it more palatable if, uh, a character seeking, uh, you know, personal growth and overcoming their, uh, emotional issues is a woman. Oop. Can I go? Hey, I can go up! Well, I can't do much else, so I'm going to hit it with my sword. Oh. Hell yeah. Achievement unlocked, be lootful and multiply. Destroy a big time shard. Oh. Pardon me. Yeah, actually. Uh... Oopsie. Let's go with a health one. Serendipitous, serendipitous bodies. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores one hit point. Baller. Oh. Oh! Devils do reduce quarrels fine for saving your life by 50%. Okay. Still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. I know there was one I couldn't reach in the previous level. I saw the sign on the wall. Can I actually go back? I'm curious. No. Okay, so uh, I guess I have to complete the level. Besides, it hasn't opened up yet. I was very specific and told it opens up later on. Oh. Oh. The pit! Okay, okay. Catacombs. Uh... Hello? Oh! You scared me! I thought you were an undead! What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a phobican? Phobican? You're a tribe of builders! Technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. Oh, phobia, okay. So what's your name, then, my good dude? Hmm. Sorry, I got so... I, uh touched my lozenge, and now my thumb is sticky. <laughs> uh, live demo. What's your name? Necro. Okay. Necro? So you fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Oh. Okay. I had a hunch. Ah! No. My organs. If anyone asks, I'm taken. What? Okay. You heard it here first, Burning Dog fans! Corbel is off the market. Death. Wow, that went a whole lot better. That certainly went a lot better. There's a skeleton down here, so I'll just kill you. I wonder exactly how much I owe him. Oh, hey, he's gone.
Uh, right. I'm not in love with that. It's not too bad. Yet. I don't see anything obviously horrific about this room. And yet I feel like I'm going to regret doing this. A necromancer! Perfect! Go tell Skeletor I told him to fuck off. Uh. Okay, they go faster when you're on the same level as them. Neat! I've known enemies like that in my time. you come off of the wall on is basically ideally suited for triangle jumping. I'm here again! What would you ask of this humble merchant? Hey, you made it to the catacombs! Okay, anything I should... I'm surprised he didn't, you know, make fun of me for falling into the pit. Anything I should know? Not really, it's pretty standard stuff. Skeletons? And bats. Oh, evil wizards too? You bet, a necromancer even took over. Spooky. Clichéd. I suggest you get this area out of the way, there are more, more original ones lined up. Demon King. How did that epic raid on the Demon King go? Ah, uh, here we go. Did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? It's not fair, the bridge was in shambles. Well, we wouldn't have much of an adventure if you faced off against the big villain right away, now would we? What do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Because you're not ready. Ready for what? For magic! Come on, you just asked! No, but I meant... Believe me, learning magic is a lot harder than following a conversation. Yeah, okay, fine, stories. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a poor old lady who had nothing in life save for a small shack and a pear tree. Her name was Madame Misery. Her whole family ate misery, and sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day, she was visited by a starving beggar who asked her whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. So she served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had simmering, and invited him to help himself to a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered to grant her a wish. Let me guess, she didn't want anything and it's immoral about living frugally. No, no, this is good, let me continue. She mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruits, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple, an enchantment on her pear tree, so that it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. The Divine Visitor granted her wish and took his leave. Time went by and she scolded many thieves and soon realized that most of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed and educate them, and soon became the pillar of a thriving new generation. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. And then one day... Death came for her. Death, following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I would like to eat one last pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Death climbed into the tree to grab a pear, getting trapped in the process. The old lady decided to never let Death out of the trap, and since then, there has been misery in the world. <laughs> the end. Right? What's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? 
Generosity begets misery? I don't know. It's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death tra trapped in a pear tree was interesting. <laughs> of the ninja. Attack enemy projectiles. Empower your attacks, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of them. Okay, can I talk about that? No. Okay. What is that? Oh, oh fucking... Of course it's a skull. It'd be really funny if I could cut that. Do it. God damn it. It doesn't sound like it's muffled by being underwater. It sounds like you're in another room or something. Honestly, that was less of a pain in the ass than the pendulum room. Oh, hey, look at that. How oh, very nice of them. Oh! Forgot about that. Fuck! Ouch! This reminds of a story, but I can't tell it because I only have one sentence for death. You did say ouch with an exclamation point, which means that was two sentences, you dickweed. <laughs> I don't know why I was rude at the end there. It's like he was a boss gloating over my death, like in Batman. Yes, I apologize, Corbel. That was uncalled for. Man, okay, I know that one's not the right thing, so I'll just go over here. point of that section. Huh. God damn it. I need health. Give me the oh. What? I guess I made up the dead. Oh shit. Are you goddamn... Okay, no, they're not kidding me. Of course they're not. Uh-uh. No. Okay, I guess it's not a trap.
And of course I can't look down. What was I thinking? Ah, yes, well, that doesn't help at all. Wait. All right, the one on the far side drops me down here into what may or may not be a trap. Mash, mash, mash. Oh. I see you down there, Gradient. You can't fool me again. Not so soon, anyway. Give it a session or two. Wait. No, no, I've got both candles. Cool. Death to you! And to you as well. connected at the top. Ugh. Achievement unlocked. How ninja is that? Attack your first enemy projectile. Oh, okay. I didn't even see it. I was trying to kill the guy. Fuck. It didn't work. line up real good. Ah. Oh shit, what even was that? Oh good, it's a wizard. You know, for the record, I think it's rad if, uh, guys want to go out and improve themselves. Oh. Oh no! Whatever will I do?! Okay, I admit those, uh, bullet patterns are, uh, kind of annoying, but still... It wasn't the hugest threat I have ever faced in my time. But you can only drop through the floor where it's thin. Oh, dang it. Why did that not kill the bat? Ah, well. Do 
God damn it, timer, I can hear you. Touch all three of these, and that's better. But there go there does go the timer, so I'm burning dog face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play the Messenger. <clears throat> Somebody's gotta deliver this scroll, might as well be me. Later.